good morning class. Today we are going to learn about creating a thesis and writing a thesis statement. So just as a reminder, we kind of talked about the structure of an essay before, that it starts out with a hook, and then we have our introduction, and then our thesis is the last statement of our introduction before we go on to write the rest of our essay. So today we're going to figure out how do we actually write a thesis and what it is. So we're going to focus specifically on that today. We're going to start out with a song. You guys have the lyrics in front of you. And we're going to go through and say the lines line by line. And then at the end we'll go through and sing the whole song together. So let's say our first line together first. The author and title are the first things, the first things, the first things. Author and title are the first things, and then we state our claim. Good. Next, let's try the second line. The claim tells the reader what I think, what I think, what I think. The claim tells the reader what I think about a topic. So we're going to say the topic is going to be our long word. All right, let's try the next one. Next comes a preview of my everyone evidence. Evidence. <laughs> evidence, my evidence. Next comes a preview of my evidence to support my claim. Good. Last line. Those are the steps of writing my thesis, my thesis, my thesis. Those are the steps of writing my thesis. It sums up my essay. Good. So I'm glad you all read at the top. This is to the um, tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb because just like Miss Mary, your teacher. All right, so let's all sing the song together, all together. All right, ready? One, two, three. Author and title are the first things, the first things, the first things. Author and title are the first things, and then we state our claim. The claim tells the reader what I think, what I think, what I think. The claim tells the reader what I think about a topic. Next comes a preview of my evidence, my evidence, my evidence. Next comes a preview of my evidence to support my claim. Those are the steps of writing my thesis, my thesis, my thesis. Those are the steps of writing my thesis. It sums up my essay. Good, great job. Kids, give yourself a hand. Come on. That's right. All right, so now we're going to go through and make sure that we understand what those parts of the thesis are. So the first part you're going to add is your author and title. That gives us context. And what context is, is it's the, all the stuff that kind of tells us what situation that we're in, or like the background and the circumstances of what we're talking about. So we're trying to say that we're giving a specific situation. So the author and title are the specific situation. This is not just a broad general thing. So after we give our author and our title, we're gonna make a claim. And a claim is like an argument or an opinion um, or your perspective on something. And you're going to make a strong claim that doesn't say, I think this is the case. You're just going to say, this is the case. We're making a strong claim. And then you're going to give a preview of your reasons. And the preview of your reasons are just kind of an overview of what you'll be talking about for the rest of your essay. Generally, your preview is three reasons, which I'll talk about in your three body paragraphs, because that's the way that we generally structure our essays. So if you look over here, you'll see it all kind of put together. The way you'll structure your thesis is it's one sentence. And so you would say, in the title, by the author, comma, we state our claim because reason one, comma, reason two, comma, and reason three, period. So it's all one sentence, and it all goes together, all three of these elements in one sentence. So I'm going to show you how this would work. Generally, we make our thesis out of a question that somebody gives us. So, for example, you might get the question, what is the best Hogwarts house? I don't know about you, but I'm a Ravenclaw. So I say that Ravenclaw is the best Hogwarts house. So that is going to be my claim. We're talking about 
J.K. Rowling's book, Harry Potter, so that's our author title. My claim is that Ravenclaw is the best. And then I'm going to think about some reasons, like why do I think Ravenclaw is so cool? And what I'm going to do is I will create my very own thesis statement. So you'll see it's posted here. In Harry Potter, which is our title, by J.K. Rowling, Ravenclaw is the best house. That's my claim. I made a strong opinion because they are clever, their mascot is the eagle, and their colors are blue and silver. And those are my reasons. And I don't have to prove any of that here because this is just a preview of my reasons. In each of my next body paragraphs, I'll explain why these three things are important and why that makes Ravenclaw the best house. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a question and you're going to get together in partners and answer it and create a thesis in this format using your author in the title, your claim, and your three reasons why you think that thing is true. So the question that you and your partner are going to be answering is, how did Harry feel about where he lived before he lived in Hogwarts? Alright, I'm going to give you guys four minutes. And you guys are going to talk it over and have a thesis ready to share with the class when we're done. All right, go. All right, class, your time is up. I need a volunteer to share what you and your partner came up with. Yes, Tiffany. Okay, so we said that Harry hates living with the Dursleys because they make him sleep under the stairs, they don't buy him presents, and they make him wear hand-me-down clothes. Great. I noticed that you had a great, strong claim that he hates living with the Dursleys. You didn't add, I think, which was really good. And you gave three really good reasons. But what was Tiffany missing? Who can tell me? Yes, I see you are pointing at this one. Yeah, Tiffany and her partner have forgotten to add in their author and title. So you need to remember that at the beginning of your thesis, you add in Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. But other than that, that was a great thesis. All right, now we're going to move on. 